It was hard not knowing what you would find when you first arrived. The night shift was as reliable as the old coffee roaster, so you never knew what would be waiting for you. You learned pretty quickly to roll up your sleeves, because the one thing the people needed more than coffee was a friend. I didn't take the job to save lives, but some days it sure felt like it. She can't be serious. Oh, she is. Oh, thank you. Wow. Weren't you two, like, best friends when she worked here? You know, every one of these stories reminds me of the long days I spent working behind the counter and those long nights writing this brave, inspirational novel. Okay, who needs another refill before another exciting story? Yes, please. I'll get this one. Exciting, isn't it? Our very own celebrity. Paul, just the other day you were complaining about how she stole your story and put it in her silly little book. Still, it's good to see she's doing well. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, this is a good one. A lot of people wonder about the nature of heaven and hell, but I saw both every day. Heaven took place at exactly 8 p.m. every night. The darkness would give way to the light at the end of the tunnel, closing time. And hell? Well, all I know is if you were on bathroom duty after the morning rush, you at least knew what hell smelled like. Do you want me to stay late? No, I'm fine. You can get out of here. All right. If we ran out before another fresh pot was brewed, the people became less human. But as soon as it began, it was over. It was like I had saved them. Okay. I'm fine. The day could have gone better. But you know, seeing the two of you getting along again kind of makes up for it. This might be the best thing I do all day. idea of something they'll like even more. Everyone I've ever met is a stranger, a past life, alter egos. Who was the man that stayed late engulfed in his book? Okay, this is just about you meeting your husband, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, skip. Chapter four, The Arm and the Steel Trap. It's just, it's my story. It was a dark and stormy night. That better not be more coffee. 
actually tea. Mm. Guess you could call it a cup of humility. <laughs> it's been a good day. Hey, I've got a line for your next book. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. Anne did not keep her next book a secret. She wrote it right here where it all began. It was less sensationalized, but it had a lot to say. She called it Humility Cafe.